Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys a pretty cool little bank bag here and show you guys a coin collection that we just picked up. Let's get this video started. All right guys, so I wanted to show you this Carson City bank bag. So Carson City bank bags are particularly valuable because they hold Carson City dollars in them. A lot of the GSAs, which I think were released in the 70s to be for sale, they came out of these bank bags here. And so when we were talking about cool pieces of American history, there are a lot of these bank bags that were discovered. And now one of these are in a frame. We ended up buying this from an auction. So we have other people in the house that buy antiques. And they said, hey, Drew and Casey, is this a valuable piece that you guys might want to have or maybe sell? And I said, man, uh, Carson City bank bags are extremely collectible. And I think one on Great Collections, just the bag by itself, sold for about $3,800 uh, after buyer's premium. And so the cool thing about this frame is that it's all kind of encapsulated together. So we do have the GSA, uh, the box down here. We do have the GSA Morgan Dollar right here. This is an 1884 CC example. And we do have the COA as well. And you, you can tell it's from the same exact packaging because the first two numbers on uh, the card is 84 and the date is 1884cc. You know, when you're taking a look at this bag, it's been through a lot, but like we said, it is extremely collectible. And so we ended up buying a coin collection recently from one of our subscribers that had bought from us in the past. And so we're going to take a few moments today and we're going to show you guys Kind of the cool stuff from the collection and uh, try to dive deeper into what we enjoy about what he bought and so let's get to that right now so this by far is my favorite coin from the collection this is a 1795 flowing hair dollar it's graded fine 12 by pcgs it has two leaves and right now i'm going to tell you a few reasons why i kind of call this coin a rarity so when you're looking at flowing hair dollars they only have two years that they were made it's basically america's first ever silver dollar so they made flowing hair dollars in 1794 and then 1795. 1795 is more common, but when you're uh, looking at the availability of these, a lot of them at the bare minimum grades are a few thousand dollars. And when you're looking at them as they're being offered per year, I would say that there's probably about 50 that are offered per year. And that's just for public auction or sometimes you might see one on eBay. And so when you're looking at coins like this, it's cool to buy them just because with other series like Morgan dollars and sometimes peace dollars, there's so many different dates to look out for. There's so many different dates to buy. There's so many different variables when it comes to condition because they can range from the lowest grade all the way up to the highest grade. But when you're looking at early dollars like this, most of the time you're going to be buying a lower grade. So look out for something that you think is really nice and uh, go from there. I do think $17.95 though, are tough to run into and it's cool to be able to show you guys. What I do like about this particular example is that the date is fully apparent when you take a look at the obverse of the coin and you can also see every other major detail like the stars, the liberty, the rim and when you're flipping over the dollar you can see that the eagle's there. Once again another full rim example. Sometimes when you're getting into the, uh, the good six or the VG8s you're not going to see that full rim. You're going to start to see the date or other big details that collectors like kind of disappear. And so this coin does have it all and it's very affordable to the more serious collector wanting to move into bigger coins like this. All right, guys. So we're going to spend just a moment guessing the grade on this 1889 Carson City. So if you take a look at the obverse, most of the time when you're looking at the lower grades, you're going to be looking at the hairline. How evident is it? And then you're going to also be looking at the rim and its originality. This 89cc is pretty original. Now when you flip it over, you can also see that the rim is starting to kind of disappear where it says United. And it does seem to be extremely flat just because of all the wear. But I would like to know your grading predictions down below. I do not think this coin is fine, but I do think it's lower than that. And I would love to hear your guess because it's important to me. All right, guys, the first coin I want to show you is this 1936. Norfolk commemorative half. It's great at Minstate 66, has a nice original toned look to it. It's like a little bit of a purple behind the ship on the left side, and a little bit more of that original haze on the reverse as well. Definitely a cool one. Then we have this 1893 CC Morgan Dollar graded fine 12 by PCGS. It is CAC approved, 
when we do look at Carson Cities, the 89cc is probably the most coveted for most collectors, and the 93cc is second best. The next coin I want to show you is a very early dollar. This is a 1798 Drape Bus dollar. Hard to see through this holder, but it is extra fine. Detail is cleaned. I do agree with the grade, and it has kind of like a gunmetal look to it. Still a good coin to buy because there's a lot of people out there looking for Drape Bus dollars, and so this one was a great opportunity. And we have this 1867 two cent piece. It's great in mid state 61 brown, just not a, a credible amount of luster. It is uncirculated and has a little bit of a fingerprint on the reverse. Comes with great Drew views, and this date is not offered very often, so we thought it would be an interesting coin to offer you guys. Then we have this 1917 Standing Liberty Quarter. It is a Type 1, it is great at AU58 full head. Great luster on the coin. Intense amount of wear on the leg on the obverse, but a great reverse. And uh, yeah, then we have a really crusty 1875 San Francisco 20 cent piece. It's great at AU58, just a little slight wear on the high points, probably on the leg, and a little bit on the eagle's breast feathers, but just a, a great type of coin that most people are looking for nowadays. Then we have this 1885 Morgan dollar. It's great at Mint State 64 Deep Mirror Proof Like. It is in a 2.2 gen, I believe, holder, and it does have a nice, flashy, frosty surfaces, and it's a good for a common date. Then we have a little bit more of a tougher variety. This is 1879 over 8 proof shield uh, nickel, and it is uh, proof 63. It's an old green holder. Another date or variety that isn't offered too often, and so we thought this one would be a good one to offer you guys. Then we have the key date of the Morgan Dollar series in 1895-0. It's a mid-grade, has some remaining luster. It was cleaned a long time ago, but they did give it the straight grade of XF45. Let me know what you guys think of this one down below. Then we have this 1825 cap bust half. Definitely the luster of an AU, and it does have a lot of detail as well. I felt this coin was a little bit undergraded, but there is a lot of wear on the reverse. And uh, the reverse looks XF to me, and the obverse looks like AU53 to AU55, so that's where they came up with AU50. We have a few rattlers to show you guys. The first one is this 81cc, the Mint State 63. Definitely a problem free cheek, great luster, CC approved. Just a cool coin. Then we have this 1880 Carson City, right in Mint State 65, and it is in a rattler holder also. CC approved. Once again, great cheek. And I think 81 cc's and 80 cc's have tough times with luster. These two that I've showed you have pretty good luster for the date. And uh, very happy to show you guys that this coin. Then we have an 1807 Drape Bust Half Cent. Once again, almost impossible to film because it is copper. But good detail. Great date to have and offer for an affordable price. Then we have... A very popular date in the Seed of Dime series. This is 1837. Small date with no stars. Mostly original look to it. And, uh, yep. Then we have a 1920 Pilgrim Commemorative Half. Really nice, gemmy luster. Has some toning on the rim. And exactly how you want a Pilgrim to look. Then we have a really tough coin in a rattler. This is a 1877 San Francisco. Seated half dollar in Minstate 61. Has like a proofy like finish to it, a little bit of polish lines here and there in the coin. Then we have another cap bus taff. This is 1812. It is graded AU53. Not a ton of remaining luster, but does have great detail and is a nice early cap bus taff. Still got to check on what Overton it is. Probably nothing special, but does kind of have like an off center look to it from the obverse. Then we have an 1891cc Morgan Dollar. This one is an OGH holder, and it is actually a Spitting Eagle. They just didn't attribute it. You could see it maybe slightly if I tilted it down a little bit, but more photos will be on our website at kushacollectibles.com. Then we have an 1803 Drape Bust Half. It's just held in an area for way too long. It's a little bit dark, but... Once again, another good coin that somebody might want for kind of an early half dollar or dollar set. Then we have a 1797 
Liberty cap half cent. It's great at VF25. And it is a little bit of a tougher variety as a rarity of three. And these don't get offered very often. And then we have this 1892cc with a nice original look to it. This is probably the third most difficult date for me to run into. And uh, it's all you want to see in a VF20. But thank you guys for taking a look at these coins. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins we showed off and the tips that we had. Make sure to also subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. We will be at the TNA show this week coming up on Friday and Saturday. So make sure to stop by our table. We're set up with Holcomb coins and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there.